One sunny day back in 2005, I walked into my office at the art school where I taught. A friendly voice rang out from the cubicle across from me. Hey, John, I got a present for you. The kindly voice belonged to my great friend, Fred Danziger, and his gift was a complete surprise. It's the finest portrait that has ever been painted of me. Fred is a world-class artist. As a teacher, he is the real deal. His commitment to students is legendary. But his generosity of spirit is not limited just to those who he has taught. He is also a great supporter of fellow artists. I asked Fred to explain a remarkable traveling show that he has organized. Hi, my name is Fred Danziger. I put together this collection of art that we're calling 101 Artists. In 2009, there was a financial crisis and it caused over 400 galleries in New York City to close down, including the one I was with, Sherry French Gallery. Out of that crisis, I decided I had to step up and buy some artwork. So many of my former students were struggling to make their way and survive as artists. One of the ways we do that is have people show some faith in you and buy some work. This all got started back in 1967 when I had my very first show at the Philadelphia College of Textiles and Science. I was still a student at the time at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. One of my teachers, Jimmy Luters, came to the show and he bought a small piece. And I was so thrilled that I said to myself, if you can ever do the same thing for your students, if you're lucky enough to have students, do it. So I started in earnest in 2009. In 2020, when the lockdown hit, that was almost like the end of the art world. Museums closed, galleries closed, even art schools closed. It was a strikingly frightening time for us artists, I believe. A lot of artists at that time were having sales online because their exhibits had been canceled. I started to buy a piece a week. Of course, it didn't take long for me to have dozens of paintings sitting around with nowhere to show them. My walls are already full. In November 2020, I was talking with Andrea Strang, who owns Gallery 222 in Malvern. I had bought some pieces online from her. I went down to pick them up, and we're sitting there with our masks on, and we're talking to each other about art. And I said, I need my own museum. And she, out of the blue, said, hey, if you want to use my gallery, I'll give you the key. Just hang everything here. See what happens. So I was really excited. That's when the very first exhibit of the 101 Artists happened. At Gallery 222 in January of 2021. The 
Mainline Arts Center showed it from February, March, and April. And now it is moving on to the Southern Alleghenies Museum of Art, where it is going to be shown from July through October 2021. There are other venues lined up. If I can keep this thing traveling for four or five years, I'll be glad to do it. I would say that in the crisis period of 2020, when a lot of us thought, what's gonna happen to art? I began to think about things like the London Blitz back in 1942. When bombs were falling every day on London, they moved two things out of London. They moved children out, and they moved great art out. They took it to a quarry in Wales for safekeeping and it is a testament to how important art is to our society. Art is going to survive. It survived medieval plagues of much greater impact than pandemic that we've been living through. Art has survived volcanic eruptions, Vesuvius erupting, and burying the city of Pompeii, and we've dug out all that and brought back to life the frescoes and artworks and sculptures of the city of Pompeii. So art is one of those things, it's part of our humanity. It's not going to go away. It's part of who we are. So I'm very glad that the exhibit of 101 artists, which is actually 135, 101 is the symbolic number, there's 135 artists, and we're showing 174 works at the Southern Alleghenies Museum of Art from July 9th to October 9th, 2021. And I hope people get a chance to see the show both online and in person if possible. Thanks a lot. Fred, your support of your fellow artists would make Jimmy Looters extremely proud. And on a personal note, one of these 101 artists is my identical twin and I can attest to the immense boost your patronage and this show has given to him. I am sure that's true for all the artists in the show. You see the transforming power of art in the lives of artists and their viewers, and you went out and harnessed it. Thank you so much. Because Fred is not yet a billionaire, the works in his collection tend to be small pieces. If you want to see more examples of what these artists have created, Google their names. Most have websites with a ton of fascinating work. To learn more about Fred and his 101 Artists show, please visit freddanziger.com.